What is going on, garden fans? Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. Early spring is here, things are budding, we have new life starting to peek its little nose out, and I wanted to bring you on a five minute food forest walkabout, just kind of give you an update, tell you what's growing on. During the fall and winter, we've been growing lots of brassicas. We eat salads out of this food forest every single day. We mix collards with kale, parsley, mint, oregano, little herb salad blend, and we've been eating like that pretty well since December. So as all these brassicas start to die back, as we get pests in the early spring, these things will die back and what will come up next is going to be things like the artichoke. This is going to be a globe artichoke coming out. So as some things die, other things that I've planted at the same time will come up in the wake of all that death. Here's another artichoke coming in. There are carrots here. So as the collards and kale start dying back in the heat, we'll start getting artichokes and carrots. Uh, there are perennials here. This is a pineapple guava. We mix and match our plants here, obviously. That's what permaculture is all about. Companion planting, holistic planning. Uh, really, the whole food forest is looking good. I have another peach tree here that I did not prune down. And it is about ready to bud out and flower. It has a whole series of companion plants down here. Garlic chives, collards, catnip, catmint. It's got onions. More collards and kale. And there's also some parsley in here hiding. Here we go. Actually, this is chervil. We have chervil that had reseeded from last year that's coming back up. And then all the little weeds and nitrogen fixers that go with it. Things like the blackberries, triple crown blackberries, starting to flower out and look really good. All the blueberries that I have here by the chicken shed looking good. The blueberries are budding out and giving me some new green life. So we have one, two, and three blueberries starting the process of budding out and flowering out. Uh, interspersed with those blueberries are some autumn olive as nitrogen fixation. So we've got this mixed berry patch here that hopefully over time will start to grow up like a nice big hedge. Things like elderberry are starting to leaf out. Mulberries, both of them that I have, are starting to leaf out some. So we should have mulberries, black mulberries, and then Pakistani mulberries coming shortly. All the seed starts that I've got in pots right now are looking good. We've got greens in here. We've got basil, there is some chamomile in the back, and other herbs, whatever else I planted the other day. It's all here, it's all looking good. On the very bottom, there is a salad bowl growing, so you can just start to see the little salad greens poking their head out. Uh, this greenhouse method right here is doing good for us. And over the next two weeks, I'm just gonna continue to fill this thing up with more seedlings, herbs and veggies as we go along. So that way we have a continual planting as we come into the spring. Chickens, doing really good. Chickens are doing chicken things. They are giving us, now that it's warm enough, about three or four eggs per day. The other day we had five, so all five of them laid. This is an excellent source of protein and food, plus they give us fertilizer and help weed, as you can see here. Chickens, definitely a must have for any suburban homestead. You need chickens. Uh, plum trees back here, and I got two of them. The Santa Rosa is wanting to bloom out real heavy. And then a methley plum right here next to it, which isn't quite blooming out yet, but it's getting ready. And the way these things are putting on their blooms this year, I would hazard to guess it's going to be a very productive tree for us. I certainly need to come through here and open up the canopy a bit more, prune up some. But for the most part, it's looking good. Probably going to be a good year for plums. There's a couple things I'm going to be 
adding to the food forest. I have to replace one of the pomegranates I lost, and I need to get another jujube out here. Other than that, this whole place is almost set in stone. I won't have to plant another thing after this spring. It'll just be a watch and grow kind of project. Uh, the back corner of my lot here, it's a very shady spot during the fall and winter. There are some things that like that and that don't mind. One is my Mexican beautyberry, which is once again putting on some new green growth. There are some elderberry back here. They don't mind the shade. And then a muscadine growing on the fence that I'm going to continue to walk all the way down the fence line. Not too far from that, we've got three Hugel mounds with pomegranate, sea berry, uh, sorry, uh, goomy berry, pomegranate, goomy berry, and that mound over there needs to get a brand new jujube put in. And of course, these mounds have all types of companions growing on them, like lemon balm and mint. Anyway, garden fans, that's it for now. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Still a lot of maintenance to do before spring actually gets here and still a lot more things to plant. But this is going to be a veggie filled food forest. I'm really making the push this year to kind of maximize my growing. How I want to know how much can I grow. So we'll find out together in 2019. Appreciate you all watching. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. And if you got any questions, just ask. God bless.